Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adrian Cabrera. Uh, glad that you could all come out tonight. Christmas and uh, the holidays. A time for all of us to come together as a family. For all those you hold close to your hearts. And for all those that you love. To spend time with them and to cherish that you all have them. For our first piece of this concert, it will be performed by our percussion ensemble and uh, by the title of Visions of Sugar Plums by our director, Eric Sampson.
like to thank you all again for coming to our concert today. As we get ready to play our last song as a percussion ensemble, I hope we can all agree that Christmas and the holidays isn't just a season, it's a feeling. And if you're already not, and if you're not already having that feeling, maybe some jingle bells can help. <laughs>
of the symphonic band introducing every piece that we play tonight. So without further ado, we're going to get started, but we have a slight introduction first. I'm Victoria O'Donnell. Um, my favorite thing about the holidays um, is being able to spend time with my family um, and getting them a gift I know will put a smile on their face. Uh, my fondest holiday memory is the cheerful mood uh, that I see people with, uh, see all the Christmas lights on the houses and as well as all the smiling faces in the fair. Look. <laughs> Uh, this band is a place where we practice difficult pieces of music at first and perform them with no problem. One of those being Carol the Bells. Please enjoy our first piece, Carol the Bells.
Hello, my name is Maverick Chuck, and my favorite. My favorite pa part of the holidays is no school for two whole weeks. But seriously, my favorite part of the holidays is spending the valuable time with my family. Like, because school gets busy and you really just want to spend time with your family. Anyways, here's our last piece, Jingle Bells Fantasy.
uh, to working with these young people. Uh, this is my zero period class, and this is my combined orchestras, our symphonia, which consists of the more advanced musicians, and the concert orchestra, which are advancing very, very rapidly and very quickly. So we have the full game up on stage tonight. And I will have, uh, we'll be doing three pieces, and I'll have each of those introduced by the students. Um, I wanted to actually just read a couple of things. So, so we did a little student holiday questionnaire, and uh, I'm just going to read off some of the responses. Um, what is the most random or funny gift you have received? And I'm just reading these pretty quickly before the show tonight. The most funny gift I got was a toothbrush. I think that's pretty funny. Uh, another one. During a white elephant, I got a mustache ice cube tray. Figure out what that must look like. Is it melted ice cube mustache? I guess I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, if I had thousand dollars to spend for a holiday gift for just one person or charity, who would it be for, and why, and what would you buy? And this respondent said, "These are anonymous to me. I would spend a thousand dollars for a family trip to Switzerland." Hopefully, $1,000 is enough. Let's see, I'm going to switch here. Oh, I like this one. Uh, I'm a parent of three uh, now young adult kids, um, so I like this one. If I had $1,000 to spend for a holiday gift for just one person, it would be for my mom, because she is always proud of me when I accomplish something and I would buy her makeup. <laughs> And you know what? We're just so honored by uh, the commitment of all you parents. We couldn't do these programs without you and the love and support that you provide your, your ch children. Um, and it means everything to us, really, it does. Um, okay, I'm just going to read a couple more and then we're going to play. Um, oh, I like this one. If I had $1,000 to spend for a holiday gift for just one person or charity, I'd buy Mr. Sampson platform shoes. <laughs> So he could be as tall as a normal person. <laughs> and Mr. Samson is definitely taller than I am. So. <laughs> right. Thank you.
I've always wanted to do this, so humor me for a second. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Bachmaus, and I play the bass in our orchestra. And our next piece is called a Christmas Echo Concerto, and consists of traditional carols arranged by Gene Milford in concerto grosso form. A concerto grosso, or a big concerto, includes a solo ensemble, in our case, a quintet of two violins, one viola, one cello, and a half decent bass. Accompanied by the rest of the orchestra, known as the Reviano Orchestra, listen for the playful call and response and other shenanigans between the two groups. orchestra, as does everybody, but really their leadership skills are incredible, as well as their talents. And I just wanted to announce that Joelle has just recently learned that she's been accepted into the Honor Orchestra of the Southern California School Band and Orchestra Association. It's a tremendous honor, and she'll be kind of great.
final piece. And then you'll see the Art of the Art Symphonia will be joining in a mighty collaboration with the band at, for our finale. I won't tell you what it is, but you'll see string players and the and wind and the brass and everybody joined in. And it's such a joy to have these chances to collaborate. Tomorrow night we'll be collaborating with the choir at the Tinsel concert. So I uh, hope to see many of you there. Although we don't have snow here in most of Sunny SoCal, because if we did, then I wouldn't be here, I'd be hitting the slopes. Um, this next song, the Christmas song, or chestnuts roasting on an open fire, may make you wish we did. And what's a chest roasted chestnut taste like anyway? Anyways, my name is Joel Park, and I play the violin in our orchestra. This beautiful piece we are about to perform as the last of our set was written by Mel Torme and Robert Wells. It is known that they composed this song on a hot, blistering summer day in 1945. As the song says, Christmas is for kids from 1 to 92. We hope you have enjoyed our music this evening, and we wish you all a very happy and joyous holidays and vacation of school. Thank God, right? <laughs> One of my favorite 
favorite thing about the holidays is the gift of giving. Whether it's through presents, kind words, or performing music, I love putting a smile on people's faces. Uh, next, directed by the one and only Eric Samson, is the wind ensemble performing Ski Run by Cesar Giovannini. Hope you guys all enjoy it.
animated classics. Now, our next piece is actually based on one of these animated films. I'd like to welcome to the stage our student teacher, Mr. Aaron Marino, conducting How the Grinch Stole Christmas.
goal is for him to have a job uh, next fall, but if he doesn't get a job, we're going to hire him as my stunt double. <laughs> but if we do hire you in orchestra, he's going to need a pair of platform shoes as well. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. So. Alright, one more time, Mr. Rio. You guys enjoying your evening so far? Uh, so, you know, I, I've asked the kids to uh, to talk because, you know, you guys hear me talk all the time. Stop. <laughs> right? Um, and I always get so emotional around this season. Does anybody else get the same, you know? Uh, bring back some great memories, maybe some not-so-good memories. You know, we're so close to the end of the year where we get to hit reset, you know, in case things didn't go so well. Um, you know, this next song that we're going to perform, uh, All Night Time, is, uh, I was reading, uh, this is a song that everybody knows, but nobody knows what it's about. Right? Does everybody even know what it's about? Yeah? Well, for me, it means, it's that song where at the end of the year, we think about the years past, and all the great things. We've had some amazing memories this year, but I know some of us have struggled with some things, myself included. Um, you know, and we're, we, we raise a toast to new things to come. You know, and, and dealing with things that have happened, happened in the past. So, um, during this, this time, as we perform this song, you know, please take this time to, to reflect on this past year. Some of the great things we've shared, uh, some of the struggles that we've shared. Uh, because we know that um, we, if we're all in this together, I'm not going to sing this song. You know, uh, we can get through anything. So, uh, actually, Ruben, we're going to go ahead and do it now. Yeah? What we're going to do now. So, and if, you know, as, as I struggle through things sometimes, it's, it's really hard for me to, to find the comfort within myself, and it's really easy to find comfort from other people, and we just have a great family here at El Dorado. Um, and my wife, she's not here tonight, she's off taking care of the kids or whatever she does on Tuesday nights, but uh, <laughs> she's pretty crafty, and, uh, and I asked her, hey, can you make, she, she, around this time she makes wreaths. Uh, and just out of ribbons, and she makes them, you know, not just for your normal standard holiday wreaths, but she makes them with character to, to fit somebody. So she made this wreath, this golden hawk wreath, it kind of looks like our banding form. Uh, and I'd like to just give it away um, to, uh, I'm going to cry, I'm going to tell you that. Uh, woo, stop. <laughs> Check out these socks, everybody, yeah? Cool. Okay, so. Throughout the year, there's some people here who just leave me little gifts, leave me little notes that really get through to get me through the year. And, and you know, it's, it's the timing's impeccable because you know it's this is a tough gig. But every so often, there's this little note, this you know whatever random gift, and, and I appreciate. It. I never tell them that. I never tell them thank you. So I would like to gift this wreath to uh, uh, to the Wolf family. I know they're sitting over here. So Brad, I mean, they just exude a hot pride. You can just see that Brian Wolf. How many of you guys have Brian Wolf as a teacher? And I know that Brian Wolf is amazing. And I just want to give this to you from the Samsons to you guys. And my wife won't let me grow up my beard like that. But maybe she will not say it. I just want to say thank you to the Wolves. You know, I know you're going to you know, hang it up in your classroom or you guys can fight over it, whatever. You know, but, uh, but Merry Christmas from the Samson's to, to the Wolves. <laughs> and if you would like one, they're 1995. <laughs> Anyways, um, did you guys check out that digital program? Something that we've, uh, some band directors were talking about a couple months ago, and I thought I'd give it a whirl. So, um, in that program, the lyrics of this song, there's one verse in there if you want to scroll through it. And we're going to ask you guys to join us and sing. Can you guys handle that? Yeah. All right, don't sing like Childs, but really dig deep <laughs> and, and find it to, to sing. But we'll, I'll cue you. Don't worry, you'll know when to come in. So, go ahead and scroll and get that up, and we'll, uh, and we'll all sing all night side together as we get ready to bring in a new year. Thank you very much.
when I was littler. <laughs> it's not grammatically correct, but <laughs> you know, on Christmas Day when we went to my grandparents' house, there was always one present missing from underneath the tree. And it was always hidden around the somewhere around the entire house. And there was a letter in the tree giving us clues to find it. Sometimes it took us an hour, sometimes it took us 30 minutes. But what matters from all of that is that we were with our family and we were having fun doing it. And that's what I think that Christmas, that's what Christmas means to me the most. And all that, and what... type of a song to encompass all that joy and fun than a fanfare. So, for our last selection for the Wind Ensemble, we would like to play Festival Fanfare for Christmas.
we have one more song for you guys, but we started this tradition. We've been playing this song at the end of the concert every year. And uh, in the past few years, we combined the orchestra and the band on this last tune. So if we could just give a second. Do we give away all the baskets already? Yeah, all the winners? Yeah, somebody say that. Cool. Well, congratulations to all the winners. And, and seriously, thank you guys for supporting uh, the Eldorado Band by, by purchasing tickets so you guys can help fund uh, you know, not only just stuff that we do around this time, but things that we do uh, all throughout the year with our many instructors, uh, our field show, um, entry forms to our entry fees to all these shows, and I'm kind of stalling. So thank you guys so much uh, for being here this evening. If you guys could just a quick, quick second, uh, talk about yourself. Our, tradition, our traditional song uh, with a combined orchestra and wind ensemble. Uh, before we do that, can we recognize all the seniors uh, who are performing their last holiday concert? joy in playing music and still to come back every day even after going through some of these rehearsals uh, but it sure certainly has been fun and I know that uh, often students choose to do other things and that's totally cool too uh, but we're very uh, excited and fortunate to have had these seniors stick with us um, and some who have joined us maybe later on in their high school career but nonetheless we're excited to have you guys here we want to say thank you guys for giving us the gift of your presence no pun intended uh, but to who have helped maintain this this music program uh, and so I just want to say from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of everybody here thank you guys for your time and effort in putting that into our music program and hopefully you guys will be off playing music uh, around this time somewhere in the world next year so one more time We're going to conclude this concert with Sleigh Ride by Leo Ray Anderson with a combined band and orchestra. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much for you guys uh, uh, for coming out to tonight's con concert and sharing this uh, and celebrating music education with us and sharing this music that we've been working on for the past few weeks uh, with all of you guys tonight. I wish you guys the very best this holiday season, a very happy new year, and we look forward to some great things to come in 2019. It's so weird to say 2019, but... Uh, we're looking forward to it. Once again, my name is Eric Sampson. Mr. Rubens backstage, Mr. Bruno, Ms. Mick Mick right here in the orchestra. Uh, thank you very much. And here's Sleigh Ride. Thank you. Thank you.
one slap at the end. So we're going to do this once. And you guys are like, ooh. Ready, Chris? I. Tomorrow morning for zero period. Uh -huh.